Hello everyone. Today we are going to see something that uh, was uh, raised as a question from one of our viewers. It's a simple, uh, uh, not even a problem I would say, based on fractions. So we will dig deeper into some fundamentals of fractions to understand this. Trisha used two bags of sugar to bake some cupcakes. She used three over five of another bag of sugar to make some macarons. How many bags of sugar did she use altogether? Uh, this is a very basic uh, 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 fraction related question. So let's assume Trisha, she had two bags of sugar. So she had one full bag of sugar, another full bag of sugar and from the third bag she only used three-fifth of the bag. So we divide this into five equal parts and take only three of it. So she has two full bags and three over five of the third bag. So if you want to write this, we can write it as two, which is a whole number, two plus three over five. This can be written as two, three over five. This is considered a mixed number because we are writing a whole number and a fraction together. So this is called a mixed number. But this is a correct answer as well. She used 2, 3 over 5 of the bags. Another way of looking at this is this whole thing can be divided into 5. Similarly, this also can be divided into 5. So now we have 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5 plus 3 over 5. So 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5. Actually, this is one whole. This is one whole. 1 plus 1 plus 3 over 5. The denominators are the same. If the denominators are the same in any fraction, we can add the numerators as it is. So 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So we get 13 over 5. This is also a valid answer. Uh, this is uh, uh, not a proper fraction. This We call this as an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. In a normal fraction, the numerator is always smaller than the denominator like what you see here, 3 over 5. So this is improper fraction and this can be converted into a mixed number like this. So if we just go ahead and divide this 13 over 5, 5 times 2 gives 10. And the remainder is 3. So you look at it, there are two holes here and what is left is 3 over 5. So that is what is shown here. Since we are uh, talking about fractions, we can just go uh, one step further and see what uh, uh, a little more detail about fractions. When we talk about fractions, always remember that let's say 1 by 5 of this plus 2 by 5 of this the reference size is not the same. We don't uh, assume this. We always assume when we talk about fractions, the reference size should be the same. If not, there should be some way of converting these two so that we are able to, let's say, divide this into smaller units and divide this into smaller units and the units are of the same size. Only then we will be able to add or do any of the operations with fractions. Generally, when we refer to fractions, we assume they the fractions that we are dealing with, they refer to the same quantity or same size. In this case, one fifth of this plus two by five of this. See here, this over five and this is also over five, right? So in this case, one of five or two of five, we divide this whole into five parts. One of five would mean one part out of five and two of five would mean another two parts out of total five parts. So one by five plus two by five will give us three over five. So since the denominators are the same, we can directly add the numerators because we have divided them into the same number of units. So we can add the numerators together. We get three out of five when we add these two. And these type of fractions where the denominators are the same, they are called like fractions. Right? And unlike fractions, for example, 1 by 4 of and 2 by 5 of. 
some quantity. The quantity is going to be the same as we uh, discussed earlier. When we talk about fractions, we always refer to the same quantity or the same size. Now, assuming this is for 1 by 4 of this and we have the same sized uh, or quantity here represented in another box here. 1 by 4 means we are going to divide this into 4 parts and choose one out of it. right? And 2 by 5 means we are going to divide it into 5 parts and choose 2 parts of it or 2 units here. Now we cannot directly add them because the unit sizes are not the same. So there is no way we can you know easily say 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 3. No, because they are not of the same size. So now we have to actually convert them to units of the same size. For example, see fortunately these two are of the same size. If you are able to divide both of them into 10 equal parts, then the unit sizes would be the same. Or 20 equal parts, 15 equal parts, whatever it is, the unit sizes would be the same. And these types of fractions where the denominators are not the same, they are called unlike fractions. Now, if we want to find out how many units we want to divide them, then we use LCM or lowest common multiple. Right? So we have taken 4 and 5. This is the simplest way of looking at what an LCM is. These are, we are going to write multiples of these numbers, two, three, times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, and so on. So 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, and so on it goes. Similarly, multiples of 5, 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and it goes on. Right? Now when we write down these multiples, we find that here 20, 4 times 5 is 20, similarly 5 times 4 is 20 and this multiple is common for both 4 and 5. So and this is the first multiple or the lowest uh, common multiple for both 4 and 5 and that is why we call this as the lowest common multiple. In addition to this like if you find here 40. We, we may find multiple additional uh, multiples, common multiples further down the road, but we don't want to worry about that. We are worried about or we are concerned about this lowest common multiple because if we can divide them into 20 parts and 20 parts, that's good enough for us, for us to be able to compare uh, units of the same size and do the addition and, and so on. So we don't want to like further divide into 40 or 80 because that's not going to help us. What we want is the smallest uh, sized units that we can actually, uh, uh, or not the smallest, the smallest number of units that we can divide this into and this into. And so that this is also divided into 20 units in, in this case and this is divided into 20 units in this case. Then the unit sizes would be the same. So if we take 1 by 4 and 2 by 5, what we are going to do here is we want to actually make that 4 into 20 so times 5 and when you do times 5 to the denominator you also do times 5 to the numerator which means effectively we are not changing the value of the fraction right so that would be 5 over 20 and for 2 over 5 both the numerator and denominator we are multiplying by 4 to, and that gives 8 over 20 all right so in this case what we are going to do is this is four units here times 5 means each of these units we are further subdividing into five smaller units and similarly here there are five units each of these units we are further subdividing into four of those units now when you do that you can see that they will become to be units of the same size. So we continue and uh, divide all of these units into smaller sized units. So totally we'll have 20 units here and we will have 20 units here as well. So this is 5 out of 20. All right. And we are going to add 8 out of 20. So that is another 8 out of this whole 20. So when you add these two, we get 13 out of 20. It is still less than one whole. One whole is 20 out of 20. 
So we have first taken 5 out of 20 and then added it to 8 out of 20 to get 13 out of 20. I hope this was uh, helpful in some ways in understanding uh, all about fractions. Uh, if you have any questions, do let me know. I will try to clarify uh, it as much as possible. For if you would like to practice some questions, I've just put some questions here. You can try and see uh, if you could add these fractions and practice them as well. I uh, hope it was useful. As always, please do uh, like the video because as per YouTube's algorithm, uh, the more likes, the more chances that you would be seeing more of these videos. So like the videos, subscribe to my channel and please share it with your friends. And do let me know what you think, uh, you know, uh, that I should be covering more or any questions. If you have, please do give it to me and I will uh, get back to you in uh, another video. Have a great day. Bye.